Hey, thanks a lot for tuning in to Self Mastery. I'm Gary, and I'm with the awesome Jordan. And we're going to do a simple three-card spread for our fire signs, current obstacle, situation, and advice. Current obstacle, your situation, and advice. Or your situation, obstacle, and advice. It depends how you look at life. <laughs> your current situation <laughs> could be your obstacle. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Anyway, you're already. ready. <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, ready. <laughs> I'm happy. All right. So the current situation, the obstacle and advice. So first thing I'm going to do is flip. Judgment. Your current situation is judgment. Well, you're rising out of something. I'll tell you that. You, but you've heard, I'm, I'm sensing right now, you have heard something in your spirit and you're now rising to it. I also sense that... Um, there was a time when you were doubting a scenario, doubting a movement, doubting a, a decision. And I think you're rising out of that decision right now because, and I'm sensing the trumpet very loud, you heard there was like a starting, I'm, I'm hearing a, you know, one of those starting whistles, that kind of thing. And that's what I'm getting here. So your current situation is that, and I'm going to turn you to the lovely Jordan. What do you think about that? That's very interesting. I just want to note that as we started this reading, the temperature in here seems to have gone up by like 10 degrees. I'm getting so much warmer. So that could be an energy of something heating up in your life right now. To clarify that judgment card, we have the three of swords, I see. Air energy. The three of swords is very much about pain from the past coming back to the surface for you to process through it. Judgment card is a similar energy to that. Judgment is Scorpio and Sag. So we're going from what lies below Scorpio to our evolution and our expansion, Sag. And that requires leaving behind heartbreaks and memories of heartbreak from the past. Whatever it is you're passing judgment on right now could have to do with your past versus your future. And whatever judgment call you're going to make requires processing through this three of swords energy. The swords live in your mind, remember? So this could be stuff coming, like I said, back up to the surface to kind of haunt you as you're trying to make this judgment decision, whatever that is for you. I'm also sensing this, this way of rising out of it. You're in the process. But we're going to see what the obstacle is. There's our next question, okay? So here's your obstacle. Oh, the obstacle is the hanging man, and that's perfect. The obstacle is you might be seeing things. Now, we just had the three of swords, too. So you might be seeing things from a different perspective, okay? Now, sometimes you see it in a different perspective to help you, or sometimes you see it in a different perspective not to help you. And that's up to you. And I get, I guarantee you when we clarify this hanging man, we're going to know what it is. But right now we're going with the obstacle right now is the perspective that you are embracing this new energy. And um, I'm, what do you think? That's perfect. Because to clarify the hangman, Pisces Major Arcana, we have the seven of wands. The seven of wands is very much an energy about fighting for what you believe in. It's about holding on to what your passionate heart center and the path you're trying to go down around you right now with Pisces there. A lot of people could be questioning your thinking because the hanged man has kind of an alternate view of the way things are done, looking within for guidance instead of without the seven of wands points to people outside of you telling you that you're crazy telling you you can't walk the path you want to walk. Whatever judgment call you're trying to make is under question from people around you. So the Pisces card there is having the patience and the calm energy to know that what you're being guided for is coming from within you. Mm -hmm. And whatever else is coming your way has nothing to do with that perspective. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now, the universe has advice for you people. So I'm going to go there. Oh, I'm going to, this is good. This is really good. The universe is giving us the two of cups for your advice. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that's a decision based on pure emotion to where it, the, I'm sensing warm love. I'm sensing uh, there's a union that it's time for you to absolutely embrace. 
and it's time for you to trust in it too. I'm getting trust majorly out of this. And I'm also can pull trust from this judgment card. How can I pull trust from that judgment card? Because when you hear that trumpet, you are trusting that it's the true sound of your heart. And um, that's what I get there. What do you think? I was getting so many intuitive messages just now. The two of cups was what you got there as the advice. Is that right? So that, that's that's what we got as the advice. Yep. Okay, because I fell into that Neptunian hanged man energy, and that does apply to that two of cups. This goes back to what I was saying before. Only you know what's perfect for you. The two of cups is very much about meeting your emotional match. It's about the equal exchange of energy, but only you can know what fulfills you that way. So whatever perspective you're taking here in the hanged man has to do with what your perfect match is. And again, only you can know that. To clarify that, we have the nine of pentacles, beautiful. Earth energy, there's so much stability behind that. But also the nine of pentacles there is telling me that there's a sense of independence that comes from this union. And to, to hold on to that knowing and that sense of self-sustainability within this situation, because it looks like you're fighting a bit of a battle to get to it. But it has prosperity attached big time. I like that. And we, so we're going to save the, you know, a card for the last for the overall energy here. That's, that's what we're getting. And I use, always pull it from the bottom and we have the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. So the overall energy to me is slow and steady. To me, it is a, uh, it, it's just a slow and steady push toward the end, but it's healthy. It's not risky. It's not fast. It's not slow. It's just like the porridge. It was perfect, just right. And that's what I get for the energy uh, overall. What do you got? That's so funny because clarifying that Knight of Pentacles, I got the chariot, the fastest moving energy in the deck to one of the slowest moving energies in the deck. So again, there, whatever it is that you're processing through with this Seven of Wands and having to fight your path forward, that's that Knight of Pentacles taking your time, paying attention to the details, making sure there's stability associated with it because after the chariot is looming and this is forward victorious motion, following what you feel and getting into alignment with yourself. And that's part of that two of cups energy too. We have cancer as the major arcana there. Could be no, referring like to you have the slowest and the fastest. What happens <laughs> when you mix them? It becomes the, it's becomes the most, the the middle <laughs> the horses fall into alignment and then the chariot can move yeah. but right now there's still some details to take care of on the bottom of the deck i noticed that we have the sun leo's major arcana and the sun is all about recapturing your sense of play and optimism your sense of joy whatever it is you're fighting against is moving you towards this sun energy it's rebirthing very beautiful card to end on and we thank you so much for letting us read for you and if you were moved by this hit like comment um do you have anything to say do we want an oracle or we're good here uh you're the oracle queen you, you, I'm you the decide oracle queen. let's do one <laughs> of course <I> have to. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom of the oracle anything else you can tell our fire signs please i knew there was one ready to go oh interesting we have the chop wood. This reminds me of that Buddha saying, chop wood, carry water. When you have that much opposition coming up against you, continue to maintain your focus with that hanged man and put in the effort, Knight of Pentacles. Be careful. Lay the groundwork and do what you got to do because when you get to that two of cups, nine of pentacles, you want it to be able to last. Or do, I mean. do what you got to do by liking and subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.